is diving into a big election year, and one Texas House race that would usually fly under the radar is getting national attention. Some big-name politicians are stepping in to campaign for the candidates in the District 28 runoff because of what it's going to mean down the road. Channel 2's Sally Mamdu live in Katy, Fort Bend County, which is part of District 28. Sally? Dominique, Fort Bank County saw a wave of blue here in the past election. Now, winning the seat is so important because it could be a predictor of what's to come in the upcoming election. As Fort Bend County's District 28 is now up for grabs, supporters of Democratic candidate Elis Markwitz and Republican candidate Gary Gates are out participating in early voting, hoping it counts. Markwitz supporters are counting on her education background and Democratic beliefs. Education is the most important thing in society, and we need to have reforms that reflect the education for our kids. I got two boys, and I worry too much about their education. She supports common sense gun policy. I that is my single greatest issue. I want to keep my family safe. I want to keep my community safe. Gary Gates' supporters say they're heading to the polls because he's a self-made businessman who embraces diversity and family values. He's a diverse person, you know, because of the, the family structure he has. His values in themselves are uh, what we're after more so. Former Congressman Beto O'Rourke and Fort Bend County Sheriff Troy Nels came out to make their presence known, each standing strongly behind their candidate. It's clear that Eliz is, is going to win. She is consistent with the values and interests of the people in Fort Bend County. He started a business, a small business. Now he employs hundreds of people. He's pro-life. He, he, he's about less government. What is there not to like, honestly, about Gary Gates? Now, Gates did run for the same district back in 2002 when it was first created, but lost in a runoff election. We're live in Katy, Sally Mamdou, KPRC, Channel 2 News.